Hey guys, click on the link below and it'll take you to a web page with a zip file which will have every file and program that you're going to need to take care of this scheduling video. Hope you enjoy it and have fun. Peace. Alright, so what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start up a dynasty like we normally would. So just click on dynasty there. And then you're just going to create a new dynasty like you normally would. You can do create a coach or use existing coach. I'm going to do use existing to use the roster that I already have. Then I'm going to hit Offline Dynasty, and then we're just going to begin a dynasty here. You don't really need to tinker with any of this stuff here because the schedule file is all going to be generated for us. So go ahead and hit X to advance. Let all the normal things happen here. And then once this loads up here, we're going to just hit pick whichever team you're going to use. I'm going to use Michigan for the purpose of this video. So I'm hitting X again. And then signing my contract, the coaching tree, just backing out. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what the schedule looked like back in 2013. Just for a reference point, we can see there, Michigan schedule. And now the next thing we're going to do is save this dynasty to our PS3 system. And I'm just going to create a new dynasty here and name it 2020. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to save it. Let this save. Okay. And now we have that saved. We need to back out into the XMB what we're going to do is copy that over to our thumb drive. So I'm going to quit the game here. And then back on our XMB, I'm going to scroll to the file we just created, hit triangle, hit copy, and select your USB device. And that'll take a second to copy over to your thumb drive. It's almost done copying and then the next thing we're going to do is remove your thumb drive from your PS3 and take it over to your computer. So I will meet you back at the computer. Okay now we're back on the computer screen. The first thing I'm going to do is plug in my thumb drive. It'll pop up. Click on PS3 save data and then you're going to see this file that says Dynasty 2020. That's the file we're going to be editing. So now that we know which file we're going to use, I'm going to open brute force save data. And what you want to do here is drag that folder right into here. Okay, and then click on that file. The first thing we're going to do is decrypt everything. Hit OK. And the screen will turn green. That's good. That's so we know the file is basically open for editing. Okay, minimize that and go into this file here, the folder. And this USR data, we're going to copy it and paste the copy. And hit Control C and Control V. And then for the copy, you're going to get rid of that dash copy and add a dot MC02 on the end of it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is open our Dynasty Editor. And we're going to open this MC dot, this dot MC02 file we just created. So scroll on your thumb drive to the save file. And it should be the only one that shows up. Yep, that file right there. You're going to open it. Okay. So now we have a few things to do in here. We're going to click on organizations and the schedule tab is already the first one selected. So this is where we're going to import our new 2020 schedule. So hit file import. And within the folder that was in the zip file, it's going to be numbered number one right here. This first one here is going to say organization schedule 2020. Click that one. It'll take just a second. Okay, we're going there, and now we're going to just check that everything works. So we're going to look at Michigan's home schedule. So we'll scroll down to see that it's different than what we just saw on the screen because now we updated it for 2020. So you can see Michigan has their new home schedule on there. That's good. That's what we wanted to see. Next thing we're going to do is click on the divisions tab, hit file, import again. Now click on the organization division tab. Hit OK. 
and usually I save it right here just to make sure everything's good. Okay. Then we're going to click on the Teams tab. And that first tab is also Teams. We're going to import our last CSV here. So hit Import again. Click on the Teams, Teams F. So what this file does is basically it rearranges all the teams into the current, the best that they can be, the current um, alignment for the conferences. So I got everything in here mostly. There's only four things we need to change. So for these three teams here, East Carolina, Tulane, and Tulsa, who are now in the American Conference, we're going to change these all to 30. The code for 30 means there are no divisions, and the American will not have any divisions in 2020. We'll just need to make sure everything's aligned like that. Same thing goes for UMass. They are now going to be independent from when this game came out, so we're going to make that a 30 as well. So we're all lined up there, and the last thing I'm going to show you is if you want to add more user teams, you can have up to 12. So right now, you'll see I have one user team. You can see in that column right there that it's Michigan and Jim Harbaugh. For this, we're going to add Nick Saban in Alabama just for illustrative purposes. So I'm going to scroll over back here. I'm going to type in user, capital U, S-E-R, just like you see above, and hit enter. So that way, we'll have control over those two teams. So now you're going to hit File, Save. Hit OK. OK. Now what we need to do in here is delete that original USR data file, hit yes, and now in this one we're going to take off the .mc02 extension. So just delete that, you get a prompt and just hit yes, okay, and now go back into brute force data and we're going to click on the encrypt file right here, select that top one and hit yes and it will change back to the way we first saw it okay that's great so now everything's good in there we're going to exit out of here and we will eject our thumb drive okay now we're good to go back to our ps3 okay now we go back into here save data utility and go to your thumb drive and we're going to see our dynasty right there you hit triangle copy going to give you a couple prompts. You're going to hit yes on both. Basically just overwriting what we made earlier on the system. Okay, that's copied over and now we're going to go back into our dynasty. So go into your dynasty. This is the moment of truth here. We see if everything works. So load up at 2020. This is the file that we just edited to make everything align for the upcoming season, assuming the season actually happens. So that'll load up. Okay. Now once that loads up, we're going to take a look at our custom schedule. This is going to be the bread and butter right here. Okay, so now we can see the schedule has been updated to reflect Michigan's 2020 schedule. We're open at Washington, and you can see all the remaining games. Awesome, that's what we wanted it to do. Now we're going to, this is the other cool thing, we added Alabama, so now we can select them in Dynasty Central, so just hit X on Nick Saban. And now we can control all of the Alabama related dynasty features. So we're going to go down to the custom schedule here. And we know that they open playing against USC, which is going to be a really cool game. So that's pretty much the gist of everything. There's a few other cool features in here. I'll show in some upcoming videos. Um, we're just looking at the rest of Alabama schedule. But I hope that was useful. You'll also notice when you play it that all of the conferences will be aligned to the best of my ability and to the best of the game's ability. So uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Michael Kramer, MJK. Peace out.